Hi everyone, welcome back uh, to Professional Beauty's Instagram Lives ahead of PB North, PB North Talks. Um, today we're going to be joined by the amazing Cassie Meeking, who is an incredibly talented nail artist and also works with us on a lot of our uh, competitions. So Kirsty's going to be joining us shortly to talk about um, what competitions we have in store for you at PB North. So I'm just going to try and add Kirsty um, to live now. Hopefully she should be able to join us in a minute. Hi Kirsty. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Sorry, say it again. How are you? I'm all right. I am very hot. It's ridiculously hot at the minute. I'm just like. Oh, me too. I've got a fan oh. for me. Can't I turn it off for the live? Can't have it in spirit. I know because it's just so noisy, isn't it? Yeah, how are you? Excited for PB North? I am, yeah, I'm excited. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. That's what I love about um, the professional beauty shows. I love seeing people, talking to them, um, helping with them. Because loads of people come up to me and say, oh, what can I do um, about different things? Maybe okay. problems in the salon or it's nail art design. So I, I love that. Yeah, and we can't wait to be uh, back in Manchester as well. We haven't been there for a few years, so it's been great to mm -hmm. head up to the north. And obviously you're involved in our uh, nail competitions, but we'll get on to that later. I just wanted to know um, a bit about why you decided to get into nails and what made you want to become a nail tech. Well, um, I was 17 when I started, mm -hmm. and I... Um, and this is like... This is the truth. This is like... Real story, story time. Is everybody listening? Make yeah. sure you um, I was 17, was a little bit lost, didn't really know what I wanted to do, was always interested in makeup and nails. Um, I went to college when I was 16 and did photography, mm -hmm. um, art and media studies, met a boy um, and then dropped out of college because I was too busy with the boy. So <laughs> would I have definitely recommend against that, always do something that's going to better your life in the long run. So having said, um, my mum was like, you know, you, you need to do something. Mm -hmm. And I looked for apprenticeships. I found an apprenticeship in a salon where I could qualify in beauty therapy and nails. So went for the interview didn't really think I was going to get it because I was you know lacking confidence and everything like that then I I got the job you know got the apprenticeship and I absolutely fell in love with the industry and especially nails mm -hmm. and back then there wasn't really any nail art as such um people you know generally had a transparent pink nail extension mm -hmm. with nail polish yeah and that was really that was your lot mm -hmm. then obviously as years progressed um i ended up having had my own salons um and then i kind of diversified within the field going from working in a salon having my own salon and um obviously into more social media and teaching and also launching my own brand so I just I just fell in love with it and I think it's definitely it's a creative industry and that's why I love it yeah it's such a creative industry and I feel like it's a real artistic outlet for a lot of nail techs as well and quite therapeutic yeah. for all the designs it's definitely therapeutic and it definitely helps me with my mental health if I can have a moment where I sit and start to create a design in, you know, quiet or whether sometimes I sit and I have Netflix on. Mm. So I'll just have Netflix on, it could be a documentary, something like that, and I'll sit and I'll create. And that's like my time. Mm. That's like my self care. And yeah. I love that. I love that. And it's amazing you've got a career where your self care is your work as well. Yeah, yeah. It a lot of people get but being a nail tech I feel like a lot of nail techs are so passionate that it doesn't even feel like work to them yeah definitely you're right and um what's your best tip for people looking to get into competitions 
Um, so if anybody wants to get into competitions, I would definitely start with the pro beauty ones uh, because they have a variety of levels. So, you know, whether you've been nail tech for 10 years plus or you've just got into the industry, there is something there for you where there are other competitions that are out there that are really aimed at the elite I think um, I st- I mean I started out doing pro beauty competitions. That's what I did, um, and that's how I become you know well known through competing and doing competitions. Got my name out there, mm. and it definitely uh, doing a competition definitely um, stretches your skills and your imagination as well. So I think getting into them, um, start you know go through the rules, go through the different categories, see what fits you, what you're comfortable with, and, yeah, go from there. It is really important to read all the rules, and go through with a fine tooth comb, and make sure you've got everything, make sure you follow. That's something that I find a lot from judging nail competitions is that some people don't fully read the rules. And, you know, and I would definitely take some time, whether you just lay in bed, and you just, you know, it's of an evening and you can just go through those rules and go through them a few times. Don't just go through them once and think, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got that. Um, go through them a few times, check everything, check your kit, make sure you've got yeah. everything um, and, and do a run through of your competition. Um, at least if you can do it a minimum of 10 times, you're going to be onto a good thing because... Ah. Perfect. Yeah, it does. It does. It really does. Practice will definitely help you within your competition mm. because it'll help you with time. Your muscle memory will come in. You know, you, you know what you're doing already. You know, knowledge is power. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely start with the pro beauty stuff. Look at your different types of um, competitions and, and choose one that fits you and really gets your juicy flowing and really like you think, oh, yeah. I want I want to have a go at that one. Do that one. And if anyone is struggling with any of the rules, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us or uh, the Federation of Nail Professionals who we run the competitions with. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to answer any questions anyone has. And Kirsty, you are running the Learner Skill Challenge. Uh, for I am, us. yeah. I'm excited about this. So do you just want to tell everyone a bit about what the challenge is, what it will entail, without giving too much away, because, you know, we don't want to... It's very, yeah, because we want it to be like a surprise. It's a learned skill. So if I sit here and tell you now exactly what you're going to do, uh, you can then practice it, and then you won't really be learning a skill. Mm. So it's, it's, it's a new, um, you know, they've done it a few times, this competition. Um, you come to the arena we go to the stage and on that stage i will show you a demonstration of how to do a certain skill so i'll show you how to do what i do and my interpretation of that skill and that design so you will do that nail you need to watch me take notes everything like that you'll be told what to bring don't worry about that so if you're thinking well whatever i haven't got this and whatever i haven't got that you'll be told what products you do need to bring so don't worry about that but it's quite exciting because you you watch me i'll go through everything in quite a good you know good amount of detail we've got around 15 minutes to get that nail done um and then you can also in the competition not only just replicate what I've done, you then get the opportunity to put your twist on it. So whatever you want to do. So if you think, oh, I could actually do it a bit like this. or So you can put your interpretation onto it, which is really exciting. And I love, I love doing this. Because they get to see, you know, how you do it and really learn from you. But then also you get the opportunity to show your personality and your own skill as well. Yeah. Yeah. Every- our own style and it's great seeing all the variations we get based off one session with you it's really incredible yeah so i'm really looking forward to seeing you know how people replicate it but how people you know how these nail techs actually create something that they put their twist on mm-hmm. you know that that's amazing so i'm excited about that so that's something you want to think about when you're watching the demo then 
try to think about how you could change it a little bit, how you could make it your own and put a little spin on it because that's that's what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did touch on this quickly, but why is it so important um, for growing nail artists to compete in competitions like this? I think it's important because, especially if you work in a salon or you're, even if you have your home, if you have a home salon, you generally do a very similar thing each day. So you mm. don't get challenged a lot. So doing competitions really challenges the mind, it challenges the creativity, and it actually gets your name out there as well. And with this competition, with the learner skill, um, it really will like um, test your ability to sort of work off the cuff because, and you get that in salon a lot, you know, someone will come in or sit down and say, oh, I've seen this design or can you do that or can you do this technique? And then you have to like think of something, you have to think on the spot a lot mm -hmm. as nail tech. So it's, it'll show those skills as well. But I think it's really important because it will, it gets the passion, it gets the, the juices flowing again, it'll ignite that flame. So if you think you're like, oh, you know, you've, you've kind of lost your mojo a little bit and you want something to pick you up, competitions is definitely. Yeah, there's nothing like a bit of competition to give you yeah. that. Thing. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. what are you most looking forward to at Peeping North? Are you going to go around and see the nail brands? Are you looking forward to a bit of networking? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to networking and, and, and mainly meeting people. I love going around and seeing all my nail friends as well, going around to the different stores. Um, but I'm, the competitions really excite me. So I, I love judging because I'm, I'm, I'm one of those judges that wants to give points and I, I want to see um, something new and different. And, and it gets, you know, judging actually gets my, uh, ignites my flame you know, four, four nails and keeps me going. It really does. So um, it's it's not, I'd say it's not a selfless chore. It actually, I get a lot out of it as, as well as you guys. So I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody's work. I'm, I'm so excited about it. So am I. I'm really excited to find out what the skill is going to be this year and see what everyone produces. Um, if you're interested in entering the nail competitions, you can start by registering for PB North, which is taking place at Manchester Central on the 25th and 26th of September. You can head to professionalbeauty.co.uk slash north and everything will be there. And if you go on that page, there'll be a competitions link there. You can find out all the different categories you can enter. We've got student, we've got nail professional, we've got something for everyone. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone submits and the standard this year. And what I'd love to tell everybody about is the prize for the Learn a Scale competition. Oh. Now, if any of you have just read stuff, you are going to miss this now. Um, so hopefully you watch this back. Um, the prize for this competition has been sponsored by um, myself and our brand. So not only are we going to give a goodie bag away with Kirsty Meekin um, products in, the winner of this competition, of the Learner Scale competition, will be invited onto the Kirsty Meekin Nails YouTube channel to recreate their design. Oh my God, how amazing is that? And for anyone thinking of entering, having that platform and being on that YouTube channel is just going to give you such a boost. It's such an incredible prize. Thank you so much for that, Kirsty. Yeah, so, um, I, so you can see why I'm really excited. <laughs> yes, yeah, oh, so, you know, oh, like, it's going to be amazing. So yeah, you've got to get entering. What's the worst thing that can happen? You'll have a great day, regardless. Yeah. And if you're not in it, yeah, then you can't win it. it you, you'll learn, yeah, you'll learn a new skill, and you could have the opportunity to be featured on the Kirsty Mickey Nails YouTube channel. Amazing! Thank you, you so much. Firstly, everyone, make sure you head to professionalbeauty.co.uk/slash/north now to register for the show. 
and also to enter the competition where you can win that incredible prize. And we're really looking forward to seeing you all at Manchester Central on September 25th and 26th. And I can't wait to see you there too, Kirsty. Yeah, I can't wait to see you as well. Thank you so much for your time and thanks for joining us, everyone. And we will see you next month in Manchester. Yeah, see you later, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye.